as a billionaire reality TV star and real estate mogul in New York. A lot of people have tried to get into Donald Trump's inner circle over the years. From politics to business and to Hollywood, it's not surprising that Trump has had friends in almost every line of work. On Thursday, the president announced that he is considering a pardon for his friend Martha Stewart. Stewart was convicted for conspiracy, obstruction, and making false statements to investigators in 2004. Along with Stewart, here are 14 people you may not have known Trump befriended. Trump took a liking to Mike Tyson when he starting hosting some of the boxer's biggest matches at Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. When Tyson was convicted of rape in 1992, Trump defended the boxer, calling the verdict a travesty. Shortly after the 2016 election, Trump met with rapper Kanye West at Trump Tower in New York. We've been friends for a long time, Trump said adding that the two discussed life during their meeting. The two also shared the love on Twitter in April. Journalist Barbara Walters has been friends with Trump on and off for years. After having a bit of a falling out in 2007 after she defended Rosie O'Donnell's criticisms of Trump, Walters rekindled their friendship two years later, saying I've missed you. Trump has long admired Oprah Winfrey, the much-beloved media mogul and self-made billionaire. In 1999, Trump said he loves Oprah and called her a popular, brilliant, wonderful woman. In 2015, Trump said he would win the presidency easily if Oprah were his running mate. Yet their relationship deteriorated over the years. In January, she delivered a powerful speech excoriating him at the Golden Globe Awards prompting many to speculate at 2020 presidential bid. In February, Trump tweeted, Hope Oprah runs so she can be exposed and defeated just like all of the others. Longtime broadcaster Larry King has personally known Trump for decades, calling him one of his oldest, dearest friends. During an interview on MSNBC in 2017, King recalled going to the Super Bowl with Trump, attending a Broadway show, and having many dinners in New York together. TV personality Regis Philbin met Trump back in 1983. We just became friends and we've been seeing each other ever since, Philbin said in the 2016 interview with Newsday. I think he's a great guy. Entrepreneur Russell Simmons has been friends with Trump for decades, but Trump's presidency has strained their relationship. You're smarter and certainly more loving than sick you let on, Simmons said to Trump in an open letter in December 2015. I know the cheap seats are easy to play to, but you can get them just by being the man I have known for nearly 30 years. Fellow New Yorker and singer Tony Bennett has been close to Trump for a long time and considers himself a friend. Last year, Bennett told reporters, sooner or later, I'll probably be doing something for him, perhaps hinting that he would perform for the president. Controversial boxing promoter Don King told Politico last year that he is still a good friend of Trump's and can easily get him on the phone to talk to him about urgent matters. The two dined together at the president's Mar-a-Lago resort in March. Rapper P. Diddy, whose real name is Sean Combs, told The Washington Post in 2015 that he always liked Donald's style, admired his work ethic, and that he and Trump are friends. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and Trump go back more than a decade when their relationship drew scrutiny ahead of a 2016 election. Brady described Trump as a good friend who has always been so supportive of me. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and Trump go back more than a decade when their relationship drew scrutiny ahead of a 2016 election. Brady described Trump as a good friend who has always been so supportive of me. When the sitcom Roseanne returned to the airwaves this year, the president called pro-Trump comedian Roseanne Barr to congratulate her on the show's high ratings. Barr's character in the show was also a Trump supporter. But the show was cancelled after Barr sent a racist tweet about a former Obama administration official. Chef Martha Stewart hosted a spin-off of Trump's The Apprentice franchise and Trump said she used to be my biggest fan in the world. Stewart served five months in prison after a jury found her guilty in 2004 of obstructing justice and lying to investigators about why she sold shares of a company. Trump's now considering pardoning her.